What's going on guys, Jared Sports Cards coming at you with another video today. In today's video, I have another retail hunting, um, literally just going to one Target to start off. Um, the same Target I went to a few days ago. They have like the three card limit rules, so I was like, maybe there's some stuff left. Who knows, it's like 10 in the morning on a Wednesday, so we're just trying out different times. It's really close to campus, so, um, and I had to go ship something out anyway, so I was just like, let me pop down here. So that's what we're going to start in this video. I'm just going to quickly run to target show you guys if we see find anything we find anything we yay but if not totally understandable and then i'm going to be showing off my college my other college friends collection you guys seem to enjoy the last video um where i showed off my other friends collection so i'm showing off my, this kid's collection first one's with scott this is luke and then i have i have references um at the end of the video i have an insane video coming in the next couple of weeks where literally I'm showing you guys the most insane collection I've ever seen uh, from somebody that goes to my college. So I'm excited to do that. But guys, let's run into Target. Okay, quickly guys, sorry to interrupt. I realized when I, now that I'm editing, I didn't even record in the store. I thought I was recording, but I don't know. The footage isn't there. So I'm gonna run the footage from Monday because it's literally the exact same thing. Okay, so there it is. Um, same exact thing as it was on Monday, uh, which is interesting. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Yes, of course, I wish I found something because any person would want to find something if they're going retail hunting, right? I think that's pretty obvious. But um, I'm not upset because now I know they don't restock on Monday, what, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I went Monday, didn't have anything, didn't go yesterday. Now today's Wednesday, still nothing. So... Um, and it looked the, literally the exact same thing, like the exact same thing. It's like no cards were bought at all. So um, that's definitely good information to know. And if you guys know me um, in all my tips videos, I always say go at different times during the day. And um, it paid off here because now I know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they uh, they don't restock. So maybe we'll try tomorrow uh, at a similar time. But um, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. So what's going on, guys? We just got back from retail hunting. I'm filming the second part. Um, of this video the night before I actually go retail hunting. So hopefully we found something. Maybe we didn't. Um, I guess we will see tomorrow. So I wanted to show off my one of my other college friends collection here. A little background for him. Um, he got into collecting about, uh, you know, middle of the last semester. Um, he kind of saw my collection and thought it was, you know, cool to get into sports cards. And um, so yeah, we got some, we got a newer collector. But um, he took a certain amount of money and bought some stuff off eBay um, as investments. He has no plan to sell anything short term. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting to kind of go through his collection. I don't really remember what he has. He just gave it to me his pile like this. Um, I haven't seen it, but, you know, he has a graded card. I'm pretty sure it's a 10, but I'm not sure. Um, maybe not. I got my favorite card in the back, Tom Brady, going to the Super Bowl. Let's go, guys. This is the game-worn jersey out of 175. So that's obviously my favorite card in my own collection. But without further ado, let's get into it. So the first card in his collection is this Jerry Judy RPA from XR. <laughs> nice patch. Uh, you know, okay patch. This one's out of 35, so it's definitely a short print, um, which obviously is going to add to the value. So um, nice, you know, it's a big patch. You got the orange there from the jersey and, um, you know, the, the regular Jerry Judy signature. So um, <laughs> I know I haven't spent a lot of time with XR this season, but... Um, it definitely is a solid uh, product, in my opinion. And Judy's really promising. He just needs a better quarterback, or Drew Locke needs to um, improve a bit. So, yeah, nice uh, Judy to 35 RPA. Going on with the same theme here, um, we're going to be looking at a DeAndre Swift Origins RPA. And this one, this one's chunky. I mean, look at that patch. Three color patch with two chunks in it. Um, you got the blue in the middle. Not sure which part of the jersey this would be. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it would be, but 
definitely maybe something involving the number uh potentially so uh could also be the nameplate but super nice card um this one was shocking shockingly not numbered uh, i remember when he bought this um but i guess it's just the base origins rpa but it's super clean rpa as we know running backs aren't the greatest investment but when you have a player like swift i mean other than his week one drop i think it's a nice little investment to have um, and hopefully the Lions can improve. All right. Jumping in, more of uh, an investment here. Different products. We've had Origins. We've had XR. And now I introduce you to Patini Phoenix. Um, Brandon Ayuk. This is the... I don't know if they have silver prisms in Phoenix or silvers in general. But this is a nice silver of Ayuk. Um, definitely clean. This one's going to be numbered out of 99. If you saw my other video uh, of my other college friends collection you would know that he is the out of 35 of the Spectra. So um, getting Phoenix in here with Ayuk, I think he's going to be a beast, especially uh, the 49ers as a unit next season. should be really good. So um, nice little Ayuk here for uh, this little investment. I'm not nine. All right, next card here. Um, this is more of a... I don't really know what to call it. I mean, it's an investment, obviously, but a lower tier investment, but... Gold standard from uh, from 2018 here. We got none of the same product here. Everything's different, but super cool. DJ Moore RPA out of 99. Basic patch. Um, great autograph. I mean, the scratches are going to be on the mag. If we pop if we pop open the mag here, I mean, this is just um, a really clean card to 99. So um, my thoughts on DJ Moore is it's a solid investment. I mean... I like it. Um, I think he's going to be really good. He kind of needs quarterback as well. Teddy Bridgewater is good, but I don't know. But still, DJ Moore still had a really good season with uh, Teddy B. And I think DJ Moore is um, really underrated. So uh, this was a cool purchase. Um, the next card here is, well, do I go with this card or do I go with the PSA card? I'm going to save this card because this card is nasty, guys. This is a freaking nasty card. This one is, okay, this is actually PSA 9. Um, this is the SP variation camo. So SP photo, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the the camo, and I think it's SP because in the label says one knee up. So I'm assuming it's the SP. Camo of Melvin Gordon on card from 2015 Chrome. This received a 9. Um, I'm guessing it's because of the centering here. I mean, the centering is kind of tough up here compared to what it is at the bottom. Um, yeah, so the top, bottom centering, kind of tough. Um, service looks clean on it, though, so uh, I can see why they definitely went in to grade this. So um, this is super cool. I guess it's from Tanner's Collectibles. Um, this is this one's going to be out of 99. So definitely a more uh, clean-cut graded card. I'm looking for slabs in my collection, as you guys know. I think I mentioned it, so... Um, this kind of just cool to have a slab. You know, Melvin Gordon has definitely fell off since, um, you know, he got drafted, but maybe he'll bounce back at some point. I think he's he's criminally underrated as well. So we'll see. Uh, but we know the thing about running backs. And uh, speaking of running backs, but this is just, this is literally a nasty card. Like, I don't know how else to explain this card other than nasty. Um, boom. And I'm actually going to pop it out. He gave me permission to pop it out of the top letter here. Um, and also pop it out of the sleeve because I got to get him a bigger sleeve as well. Um, but oh my goodness, guys, look at that patch. J.K. Dobbins, freshman fabric from 2020 certified, 10 out of 10. This kid is going to be an absolute beast in my opinion. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Um, not game worn or anything, but... I mean, just an absolute stunning, stunning card here. And you guys, I just said I would get this in a sleeve, so I definitely will. Um, but wow, that is one beautiful card. But guys, um, I'm going to pop it back in here just for now, and then I'm going to grab another sleeve after this video. Actually, I'm not going to force anything in there. The seller did not do the greatest job. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully we found something retail hunting. I don't know because I this is like the night before I even go retail hunting. Um, but I have such an amazing video coming at you. I have one more college friend who collects cards and his collection is worth 
thousands of dollars. I mean, slabs on top of slabs on top of slabs. I've been saving this video. It's going to be an absolute banger. Hopefully, I'll have it out by next week. I literally can't even explain to you the monstrosity of the cards in this collection. I mean, it's insane, guys. Um, so, you'll definitely see that uh, video in the coming week or two, um, depending on uh, when we film it, but that is definitely coming down the line. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, uh, comment down below, and drop a subscribe. We're on the road to 1,500 subscribers. We're at 1.1K when I film this, so maybe we are higher than that. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching, and peace out.